Hey friends, your girl Miranda here, and today is the day. It's that time of year where I share with you guys what I got my kiddos for Christmas. I will also be sharing in the next few days um, what's in their stockings, what's in their Christmas Eve boxes, and of course, things that I got for hubby as well. But today is the long anticipated video of what I got my kids for Christmas 2020. Um, so most everything, is either from work which I work at Ross so it's either from Ross it's either from um, like Amazon Walmart or um, holler when it was when it was holler now it's uh, five below so I'm assuming that maybe the things that I picked up you might be able to find a five below don't know for sure but anywho if you have not joined the family, please, please do so. I would love to have you here. So you guys, let's go ahead and get into this video because this is one of those videos that I absolutely love doing every single year. All right, so starting off with what I got for my nine-year-old son, you guys. Um, so first up, I did pick this up at Ross, you guys. It was only 10 bucks, and it's one of this, I guess, do I have it? I have it the wrong way. Ha. Um, it is the little um, pocket watch Ryan's mystery play date. Um, it's a gamer mystery countdown is what they're calling it. Um, so it looks like this. I think it's pretty cool looking because it looks like a little, you know, gamer control and whatnot. But yeah, 10 bucks, you guys. Awesome, awesome deal. You get 13 little surprises in it. And on the back, it actually tells you everything that you get in here you get three minifigures gamer console a trophy a controller a gamer chair a bracelet pixel toy glasses an eraser bouncy ball metallic sticker and puzzle cube he's been bugging me for something like ryan so you know i just went ahead and got this i was originally wanting to get him the um like the mystery save because you think i think you get like 30 different prizes in that one um but they totally like jacked up the price so i'm like no thank you um so i went with this which i know he will just be as easily stoked with this so yeah and you know he's totally into ryan's world so he's definitely going to have fun opening this up so next up, I wanted to get each of the kiddos kind of something a little crafty. So for my son, I picked this up off of Holler towards like the beginning of the year before they changed over to Five Below. Um, and this is the Galaxy Glitter Sand Art. And I just, I, when I was younger, was a huge fan of these little sand art things. I just, they were fun to me anyways. Um, so hopefully he'll like this. Um, but you, you see the different little shapes here. You have a rocket ship, a moon, uh, like a shooting star, and then a planet. And then you have these really cool kind of almost neon colored sands. So, you know, just a little something, you know, that's not a toy, something fun for him to do. So I got that for him. All right, so the next item that I picked up for him, I also got off a of holler at the beginning of the year. And it is this small little, um, it's not really like small, but you know, it's not like a super huge Buzz Lightyear, but um, yeah, you guys, it's actually RC, um, so it is a little remote control figure of Buzz. You can see in there, there's a little control in there. Um, so I went ahead and picked that up for him. I think this was actually only like five bucks when I had purchased it, so I thought that was pretty cool. We do enjoy Toy Story here in the house, so yeah, we got him a little Buzz toy. Okay, so this next gift, I feel like it was like meant to be. So my son had mentioned to me how much he was wanting a harmonica and of all places that I found a harmonica where yeah you guessed it Ross you guys so I did come across this harmonica it was actually in the men's section um but yeah I thought this was like so cool you guys that I found this there so I picked this up for him I was very very happy to come across it and I think this was very inexpensive I guess I already oh no I paid like $5.99 for it, so not a bad deal. So hopefully he has fun with it and does not annoy the heck out of us. All right, this next item I picked up off of Amazon. Um, anything that I can link down below, you guys, I will. Um, but yeah, you guys, so he is kind of not really into reading, but he is in third grade, so I want him to start getting more into like chapter books and stuff and he's really into goosebumps you guys so um, I'm hoping that this will maybe spark some interest 
and um, that he'll really enjoy these. I was a huge fan of them growing up. But so I picked him up this little Goosebumps book set. It comes in this really cool tin, which is awesome. And you do get five books in here. They have several different little sets because the entire collection is crazy expensive, you guys. Um, but I did pick this one up for him. And then on the back, it does show you all the books that you get in there. And again, these ones are, I picked up this one mostly because I recognize more of the books than the ones that were in the other sets. And these are some of the ones that I have read um, when I was a kid. So yeah, you guys, I think he's definitely going to like this. And then this tin is like a bonus, you guys, it's really cool. So and it has like some texture to it. So like that kind of like embossed. So yeah, pretty cool. So hopefully, again, that this will spark some interest in him wanting to read and, you know, get into chapter books and stuff like that. So, all right. So next up, you guys, another item that I picked up at Ross and I, I had completely forgot about this. And then the day that I went in to do a little bit of uh, Christmas shopping, I saw it and I was like, holy moly, I totally forgot about it. And I, I had to get it. My son is totally into sharks, you guys, and I just know he's going to love this. And it is this really cool little remote control car, you guys, and it is in the shape of a shark. Can you see, like, it's just awesome, 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 you guys. I was so happy to see this, that it was still there. Um, again, I completely forgot about it, and so I immediately grabbed it when I saw it. So I'm very happy about finding this and I just know he's going to freaking love it and I guess like the tail it's like movable like when the car is moving the tail moves to kind of like a side to side kind of motion there so really really cool you guys and there's the price that I paid for it so yeah this is awesome it's like the coolest thing I've ever seen all right and the last item that I got my son you guys is this little kind of nerf gun if you must but i picked this one up so at ross they have a ton of different little nerf guns especially if you're looking for one on a budget you guys definitely check out ross um it's just a really great yeah really great place <laughs> i could talk today um to you know get toys and all of that and you guys since i do work there i do get a discount so i got a discount on top of these already discounted prices which is awesome but yeah you guys i picked up this one mostly because i thought it was really cool first off because you have like this like whole zombie theme going on and i just thought it was really cool that it has these little things that are kind of like little cans that you can shoot at and I mean, these, you can always buy like extras um, of them. So yeah, you guys, but they had a ton, a ton, a ton of different ones to choose from. They had small ones, medium ones, big ones, ginormous ones. But I just thought that this was really cool, the whole zombie thing. My son's like into zombies and stuff like that. So yeah, I went ahead and picked that up for him. So I definitely think he's going to have fun with this one. But definitely check out Ross, even like Marshalls and TJ Maxx, you guys. Can find some really great discounted toys and stuff like that so yeah you guys zombies so that's everything that i got for my son all right so moving on to my six-year-old daughter so both of my daughters are kind of getting in a way similar things but they're a little bit different um but let me go ahead and share with you so first up oh my goodness you guys so at ross they have the most cutest little purses and stuff like that you guys and so um and of course after I bought the ones that I got from my daughters they got in some other cute ones oh my goodness but anywho so it has a chain strap you guys but I picked up my daughter this little unicorn Purse, you guys it is so stinking cute it is so soft they had a ton of different unicorns um my other daughter she's getting something different but then after i bought these they came out with llamas and a koala bear and even a purple triceratops i was so tempted to get the triceratops and the koala just for the heck of it but I didn't. I I held back, you guys. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I got her the unicorn here. And it was like that rainbow colors and stuff like that. And I just thought this was so cute. I just wanted to get them a new purse. 
so and then you have like a little zipper here it's not very big inside but you know they could put like little toys in there or just like their money if they have like some coins or like a couple dollar bills whatever it's just cute you guys so I went ahead and picked that up for her and this one um I think was $7.99 so not a bad deal for a little purse because they can get kind of expensive sometimes so I got her that all right so Obviously, you know, when I was a girl, I had an American Girl doll. They are mad crazy expensive. Like, I could get, like, six of these dolls for the price of one American Girl doll. And I'd been eyeing these at Walmart, you guys. And so I'm just like, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and get them one of these and stuff. I'm not going to, like, you know, waste um, on American Girl doll. So I went ahead and picked her up this one right here. <laughs> Though I did have to add another little, uh, like rubber band thingy there because the one that was in her hair broke. But I picked her up this one. She's, um, they're calling her the Horse Whisperer. But I thought she was super, super cute, you guys. So yeah, very excited. It is an 18-inch doll. They're just like the American Girl dolls, you guys. Um, and I just think that she's going to love her um, and just very inexpensive. I think these were like 25 bucks or so. So yeah, super cute. The only thing that is kind of annoying to me, and I don't know if they're like this in the store. I can't remember. They don't actually have like a plastic covering. So like I can actually like touch the doll. It's kind of weird, but um, yeah, she's super cute, super pretty. They have various different ones to choose from, but I chose her. So for each of my daughters, I did get them a movie. Um, I didn't get my son one just because I have been getting a ton for him. <laughs> so, cause there's just a lot of movies that I like that he likes. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and get my girls a movie. So I did pick my daughter up Frozen 2. We have the first one, we just needed this one. So this will be one of her Christmas presents. And one of the items that was on my daughter's wish list was this Barbie right here. And it is the Barbie, Barbie, oh my gosh, I cannot talk today, you guys. It is the Barbie <laughs> Sparkle Lights Mermaid. And she looks like this, so I got her this one. And basically, like, you push the sides of her little, like, dress thingy here, and the tail moves and, like, lights up and stuff like that. It's meant to be used, like, in the bathtub, so I don't know. We shall see how well that works, but that's pretty much all it really does is just her tail moves and um, it lights up. That's what she wanted, so I got her that. So she said she wanted to be a dentist when she grows up. Well, might as well let her start practicing. So I did pick her up this little Play-Doh set. I'd actually had my eye on this for a while, even before I knew that she wanted to be a dentist, um, because my girls absolutely love playing with Play-Doh, you guys. But I thought this was really cool. So it comes with like all these little utensil thingies and you know, you have the Play-Doh, five different Play-Dohs in there. And it's a little head and you can put teeth and braces and all that good stuff on it. So I thought that was really, really cool. So I definitely think she'll get a kick out of this. And then I'll, I picked this up from Holler again, beginning of the year, um, before the changeover. And this is the Furry Friends Bath Bomb little set. So you create your own bath bombs. They had a few different little sets here. Um, and basically you get to create three different bath bombs in here. And it shows you like in the back the different colors, kind of what comes in it, and then the different like designs. So you can make like two of these small ones and then this one looks like it's probably a bit bigger. So like llamas and was that like little kitty cats or something. So it has everything you need to make three bath bombs. And then kind of like my son, she's also getting one of these little sand arts um and this one is just kind of like your typical shapes and then all the colors there i think that she will definitely get a kick out of this as well she's definitely very kind of crafty very artsy so yeah i think she will definitely like this so moving on to my four-year-old who will actually be five the day after Christmas. So I will be doing a separate video on what I got her for her birthday because we like to give her things on Christmas and then actually celebrate her birthday on her birthday, not necessarily like together. 
um and so we always get her other things to open on the day of her birthday but um for now let me share with you what i got her for christmas so her purse you guys is this cute little puppy oh my goodness it's so cute this one is like a different material it's not quite like soft but it's like that almost wooly kind of material i don't know what you want to call it but i saw this and i just thought it was so stinking cute so yeah you guys and it was the same price the 7.99 yeah 7.99 um but yeah i definitely think that she will like this all right and then the movie that i got her which i know they're going to be super excited about because it's one that we have not seen yet and we've been wanting to for the longest time and that is trolls world tour very excited to have this we have the first one and i just know that she's going to be very happy about this looking forward to actually watching it myself when she opens it um and then i wanted to get her something a little crafty too maybe not the sand stuff because i was thinking it might be a little too messy for her um but so i picked her up just this little mini um flower magnet it's like a little wooden craft set um, so it has these little flowers here that you can paint. There's some little like gem thingies and stuff like that. And I have a whole bunch of like little extra like goodies that she can add to it if she wants to like buttons and other stuff, glitter glue, that kind of stuff. But I thought that this would be perfect for her. And it shows you in the back kind of like everything that's in here. So yeah, I thought this would be perfect for her. All right, now she absolutely loves, loves, loves Barbies, you guys, like even more than my other daughter. And so I got her this Anna. Um, she already has an Elsa, so I got her this one. Now, I was debating. I was there because um, I got this at Ross, so I was debating because there was this one and there was another Anna. But the other Anna, she, she was a singing Anna for the exact same price, but this one has this. And it has it's to like braid her hair and I figured okay well this might be kind of better more fun for her and less annoying of course <laughs> but this will also be useful like for her other Barbies if she wants to braid her other Barbies hair and stuff like that and I mean you have the couple little accessories there so I thought that that was kind of a better deal for like the same price as the singing Anna because this was $13.99 you guys and so I didn't think that that was too bad of a deal so yeah I know and this is from Frozen 2 so she doesn't have like her normal dress I think the other one had her um, normal dress like from the first movie um, but I just thought that this was really cool I think she's definitely going to have some fun with this with Anna and with her other Barbies um, braiding their hair and stuff like that and then the accessories I thought it was a good deal so we have Anna all right and then she's also getting one of those little create your own bath bomb sets um she's getting this one and this one you actually get um to make two little mermaid tails and then the unicorn there and i believe these are actually different scents but i don't remember what the scents are in this one um yeah, I don't remember the scents. I know each one of the girls have a different scented one. But yeah, so she's getting this one. And then her Play-Doh set, you guys. I thought this was like the coolest thing ever. So she's getting one of the Play-Doh builders. And you guys, like you can see right here, like you put the Play-Doh over the little frame and you can build this little house here. It does come, you can see with like two little figures. It comes with a little slide, all these like accessories. The Play-Doh, this one's actually pretty heavy. Um, but yeah, you guys, so it comes with all the accessories, the little people, play-doh all of it you guys and i just thought this was really really cool um so i definitely think that she's going to like this all right and then the last item that i got for her is obviously one of the a similar doll like i got my other daughter and this one is the foreign language tutor and she looks like this i just think that her little glasses are so stinking cute you guys originally i wanted to get the african-american one because she, they had her they had the african-american one and then they had the blonde one but the african-american one was so stinking cute you guys her like poofy curly hair like up in like a little like side bun kind of thing so adorable but she was out of stock online and she was out of stock at the stores in my area so I went ahead and picked her up I just think that she's so cute you guys so so cute 
so yeah you guys so that is everything that I got my kiddos for Christmas now I did purchase a bunch of clothing as well from the children's place which you guys will probably be seeing a big huge massive haul on that here soon as well but um, I just kind of wanted to you know they had a really good sale going on so the kids are gonna be getting like some clothing pieces and stuff like that but I kind of just wanted to share with you um, you know all of the other things that I got for them toys all that other stuff you know <laughs> um, but they will be getting like you know new pajamas and slippers and just some other clothing pieces and stuff like that um, so know that they'll also be getting that as well um, but that's a different haul <laughs> so yeah you guys that's everything that I got again I will link what I can down below um hopefully this gave you some ideas to, and that there's still time for you to get some of these items for your kiddos again check Ross you guys and also even on Amazon there's certain times that you know if you keep checking back you know sometimes the price go up and down on things so definitely keep checking if there's things that you're interested in purchasing because you never know <laughs> you might catch it on a good day and you get a really awesome deal but yeah check Ross you guys check TJ Maxx check Marshalls all those places where you can get those discounted toys and not have to spend a fortune on them for Christmas so that is everything you guys thank you so so much for watching again join the family if you have not and I will see you in my next video bye guys